Oh, 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 oh! It's fixed. OMG, it's fixed. Yes, fam, it is about time that we learn about Creator Studio for Instagram and IGTV creators. Intro. <laughs> Sorry for the dramatics earlier, but salutations everybody. My name is Benjamin Brandon. Welcome back to another IGTV tutorial. I am super, super excited about this one. And the reason being is for Instagrammers and IGTV creators alike, we've been waiting for a tool, a platform, something that will allow us to not only upload on our desktops, but schedule on our desktops. That something is now here. In one of my most recent tutorials, I told you guys about Creator Studio, and I talked about its potential and what it can do for creators, especially IGTV creators. Recently, Facebook launched a new version of Creator Studio. Facebook itself has always had Creator Studio, but most recently, about a month ago, they integrated Instagram into Creator Studio. So now, not only are you able to upload Instagram content from your desktop, but, but, you can now schedule Instagram posts and for you hashtag Burt creators out there, IGTV videos. But I say now because Facebook did launch Creator Studio last month with this new IGTV schedule feature, and it was amazing, and a lot of us IGTV creators, you may be one of them, tried it and it didn't work. It got this weird red error, this 99.9% .9 thing when trying to upload to the platform itself and yeah, it just never worked. But I just tried it, uploaded a video. It's awesome. Now I'm gonna teach you how to do the same. Let's learn about Creator Studio for Instagram and IG. TV. Let's start off with some of the basics. This is Creator Studio right now. You're able to switch content management systems up on top. You see the Facebook icon and then the Instagram icon there. So now if you don't see the Instagram Creator Studio on top, it's because you haven't set it up yet, but that's super simple. You should already be in the Facebook Creator Studio as you see here. You can simply see here that Instagram and IGTV publishing is now available and you can just hit try now. Oh, then extract your Facebook profile and integrate it with your Instagram profile, which are the same thing by the way. And then boom, here you go, Creator Studio for Instagram. The main section is your content library. This is literally everything that you've ever posted on Instagram is like right here. From your feed videos, to photos, to carousel posts, to your Instagram stories, and of course, your IGTV videos, you can access all of that in the content library here. So I'm gonna go to video here. And what's pretty cool, if you simply hover on the title of your post, it shows you your description like right there all cool looking. Now when you click on the post, it shows you a whole bunch of details. The video itself, the description again, you can even play the video if you want to. And the coolest part is it integrates with your analytics on Instagram, because this is Instagram. So you can see everything from your views to your likes to how many saves you have on the post. And you even have interactions and discovery analytics right there on your desktop. Going into photos, it's the same thing as well. Click on the photo panel and click on your post. All your analytics are on the photo post as well. Now, as far as Instagram stories, clicking on that panel, you do have different analytics when it comes to your Instagram stories, such as the back, the forward, the next story, and exited metrics within the discovery analytics panel. The coolest part about this for me is you're able to see analytics when it comes to the stickers you use. So you can see here, sticker taps. I had four for this particular story. What was that about again? And of course, going into the IGTV panel, clicking on the particular post, you can see that you have your audience retention analytic. Ooh. Y'all didn't really like that one, did you? Now let's say we want more detailed analytics. We have the insights tab right here. So clicking on that, you can see tons of stuff. Everything you're looking at right here is from a seven day snapshot. So you can see your interactions analytics, how many actions were taken on your account, how many website visits, profile visits, calls if y'all do that, that's, that's for you. And you get a detailed version of the discovery analytic, which shows you two main things. How many accounts or people have you reached within those past days and your total amount of impressions for that particular week. Real quick, if you want to know the difference between reached and impressions, accounts reach is pretty much a simple metric that tells you how many new people your posts have been in front of. New people meaning people who aren't following you. Now impressions is essentially telling you how many times your posts have been seen by anybody. So to simplify that, think of accounts reached as a total number of new people, people who aren't following you, how many of them have seen your posts? And impressions is the total number of eyes in general, those who follow you and those who don't. How many of everyone has seen your particular posts? That's the difference between accounts reach and impressions. 
Hope that makes sense. Okay, so that's everything when it comes to the activity portion of the insights panel. Let's move on to audience. Now, when it comes to audience, this is where you really get to understand who is following your content and who enjoys your content. Also, this is where social media managers and people who run sponsorships, if you're a creator trying to get sponsorships, this is what they look at here when it comes to your demographic or your audience. Now from top to bottom, you can see the total number of your followers, how many have you gained in the past seven days. Again, a seven day snapshot for all this as well. The age and gender of your followers, so that gets more isolated into what type of demographic. So you can see here, a lot of bros enjoy the vertical content and some broettes. Thanks girls. Now this is probably the most important one and this is the one you should be looking at the most. When your followers are on Instagram, that is huge. This gives you a determination of when are the best days and times for you to post. Now for me, mine's a little saturated because I just finished doing a daily vlog. It was about 14 days in a row. So you can see Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. There really isn't any good day because my core audience was watching the vlog. Thank you, by the way. But when it comes to day and hour, that's something completely different. The question that I always get asked from clients or someone on the street or one of you guys, what's the best time to post on Instagram? There's no definitive answer because every audience and every creator are different. This is where you find that answer. So when it comes to activity, the darker the blue squares are, the more activity you get during those particular days and times. So the cool part is you can just hover your mouse on these squares and it shows you how many followers are usually online during this particular day and time. So a good day and time for me looks like Wednesday at 6 p.m. And look, an even better day and time is Monday at 6 p.m. So it looks like 6 p.m. is kind of my sweet spot. Now I can also see the times where I shouldn't be posting, which right now looks like it's early in the morning. So fam, this is super valuable information. You gotta understand if you schedule, now that you can schedule, you'll see that in a moment. If you schedule on the particular days and times that your followers are most active, most, I said most, most active, there's no telling what's gonna happen to your success if you just make the right content and pop them at those days and times. And lastly, you can see countries and cities. Obviously I'm in the US, so US is my biggest demographic. Egypt is actually quite the hashtag vert fans, by the way. So that was interesting. I've been seeing a crazy Egypt boost lately. Thank y'all. Also India, India is up into the vert as well. Pretty cool. And then you can see your top cities as well. So that right there, my friends, is everything that you need to know about insights on Creator Studio. Now let's go ahead and create and schedule posts. Luckily, they made this super simple. Start by hitting the create post button and immediately you have the option between your Instagram feed or an IGTV post. We'll start with the Instagram feed first. If you do have multiple profiles, you'll see them selected here. I am just me right now, so I'll hit that. And you can see everything that you're used to on Instagram on mobile. Your description, you obviously write your description and pop in your hashtags there. You have your location you're able to set, upload the content itself. So let's go ahead and upload a file. File upload and uh, I'll just pick this photo. I'm not sure what it was. Oh, it's a barbecue photo. So let's say my location is Austin, Texas. There we go. And for the sake of it, I'm just gonna write nothing but that. And just like the regular Instagram app, if you were to at someone, you can get suggested people. As you can see, I'll at myself. And let's do like, I don't know, Cody Warren. So it's pretty cool. Now, the one thing it is lacking though, is the fact that it doesn't give you suggested hashtags like the app does. So if I were to type in hashtag bird, I don't get a suggestion. But what I do like is it tracks your capacity with hashtags and mentions. You can see here it says 28 mentions and 29 hashtags because you can do 30 for both. And the last thing is post to Facebook. That's just the same thing where you, if you click this button here, you're then able to post this to Instagram and Facebook simultaneously. That's what that is. Now, referring to the bottom right corner, you can see that there was a drop down arrow next to publish. This is where you hit schedule. So all you have to do here is set your day and time and you're good to go. So I'm gonna choose five days from now. And now that I know my time is 6 p.m. apparently, I'm gonna choose 6 p.m. And there you go. And you can see on post status, it does decipher between scheduled, published and archive posts. Archive posts are those that you get rid of on your feed or Instagram stories after 24 hours become archived. Now to delete the post, super simple, just hover to the post itself, click on those three dots. Everything's three dots, like just look for three dots for anything, it's weird, I don't know. And you can either publish now or hit delete. Since I don't have a description, I'm just gonna hit delete. And hey, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, delete. And voila, it's gone. 
So that's exactly how you do that for Instagram feed posts, photos, videos, carousel posts, things like that. So now my vert friends, let's talk about IGTV, IGTV scheduling and posting. Go back to your create post button, hit on IGTV here, and of course hit you. Don't hit you, don't do that, click you. Don't, I love you, don't, don't hit, you love yourself too, don't hit yourself. From there we're gonna go to file upload, find your video, where is my video? There it is. And then you start by titling the video and hitting your description. So what was the title of this video? Okay, so there's my title. I'm gonna pop in my description now, which I already have a template on if you want a template as well and how I do this. With line break code, mind you, totally check out the video that I'll link below for you. It pretty much shows you how I space all my Instagram posts so it looks like nice and tidy. Now, the greatest part about this is you can extend the text box, which is amazing. Because if you're like me, or if you're someone that watched my desktop tutorial and I show you how I use my workflow in IGTV, it's all on desktop. The IGTV uploader doesn't allow you to do that. So all you get is just just a little box and you gotta scroll with it just the bane of my existence. Let's move on to the cover photo, thumbnail, whatever you wanna call it. Now what's cool is it already gives you frames to choose from from your video. It's quite a few actually, so if you didn't create a custom thumbnail, which I highly recommend you do by the way, link that video below too. Just, I'm, help, I'm trying to help you out fam, I'm just trying to help you out. Then you can totally use one of these if you don't do that, but I obviously do, so let's get my custom thumbnail and boom, there you go. That's how you upload it. The share feed to preview feature is automatically selected. So if you don't want it, uncheck it, but I highly recommend that you do that because that gains a lot of views for your IGTV content, trust me. So moving on to your page, this actually has to refer to Facebook and it's way different than the Instagram feed scheduler. If you tap on it, you can see something different. This new section that just popped up is a horizontal custom thumbnail option so for whatever reason if you do have a horizontal thumbnail this is where you'll add that so again your page is for facebook i'm not going to upload this to facebook so i'll just take that away and after that you're good to go the only thing you have to do is either publish or schedule it now if you're a youtuber you're super familiar with this right drop down arrow and then schedule so i'm actually going to post this video today so I'm gonna go ahead and schedule this post, but I'm gonna actually go back to the Insights tab and see what the best time for me to post is for this day, today's Friday. So let's go to Audience, and we'll go to Day and Hour. Yeah, 6 p.m. You, you guys in your 6 p.m., okay. All right, so I'll go back here and I'll hit Publish. Oh, no, no, not Publish. I'll hit Schedule. Let's go ahead and Schedule for today, 6 p.m., and Voila, you can see the notifications on the bottom left corner. And of course you can see your post is scheduled in your content library. I can't tell you how exciting that is, especially for someone that uploads IGTV content all the time, or for someone who does primarily all of their editing and creation on desktop, you can now use Creator Studio and don't have to rely on your app again. This is what dreams are made of. Like for real. Okay fam, now it's time to announce the winner of the Sandmark Anamorphic Lens giveaway. From last week's tutorial all about the Sandmark Anamorphic Lens, what anamorphic is and how to use it for vertical video. Yeah, you can use it for vertical video. And the randomly selected winner is, drum roll please, Harsh Rathmore. Congratulations my friend. Amazing comment you left by the way. I can't wait to see what you're gonna do with it and thank you for the love for the hashtag vert community. If you enjoyed this tutorial and wanna learn more about IGTV to dominate the platform and gain more views, I would totally watch the playlist right here. And if you wanna check out my vertical vlog that I'm releasing here on YouTube, totally watch the playlist down below. I will see you on the next one my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. It has been a pleasure. You are awesome. Subscribe, hit the like button, notifications. You do what you wanna do. I'm just here for you. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.